How many calculations can the average human brain perform in one second? Is it A, 10,000, B, 10 quadrillion, or C, one, especially if you're in maths class? Believe it or not, the answer is B. Your brain really does perform 10 quadrillion calculations a second. Which means your brain is the most complicated computer on the planet. So why is it so wrinkly? This is a case for Investigation Ouch. I'm here at the Brain Cut Room at University College London, and I'm about to get very close to a real human brain. This is not for the squeamish. We've got exclusive access to this human brain to show you all its inner workings. This organ controls every single thing you do. Even now, your brain is busy sending messages all over your body. Now, this brain feels rubbery because it's been preserved but the brain inside your head right now is soft and squishy. That's because our brains are actually made up of 75% water, and the rest is mostly fat. The average adult brain weighs one and a half kilos. That's as much as three tins of baked beans. Try picking them up, and you'll see how much weight a neck has to carry. But there's more to find out than that, so let's pick the brains of a specialist. Meet Dr. Helen Ling, a brain doctor or neurologist. So, Helen, why does the brain look like this? Why is it all wrinkly? Well, the surface of our brain is actually folded. These bumps and grooves increase the surface area of our brain. So if we unfolded all this, it would be enormous. And we'd need a head the size of a surfboard. How does the brain sit inside the skull? Is it just resting gently on the bones? Our brain is actually surrounded by a clear, colourless fluid, and it acts like a cushion that protects the brain. So it's like when you're at the swimming pool, if you go and lie on a lilo and you feel very weightless, that's the same thing the brain is doing. It's just chilling out of this fluid inside your skull. Hey, baby. But it does a lot more than just chill out. This big, wrinkly structure is controlling your body 24-7. Yes, even when you're asleep. There are different sections in charge of different jobs, but which bit does what? Well, toward the front is the motor cortex. This tells you when to move by sending signals down your spinal cord. And when I'm hungry and my stomach's gurgling, which bit's doing that? It will be the hypothalamus. So that bit, this bit right in the middle of the brain? That's right, right here. So when I'm hungry, this bit of the brain, right in the middle, sends out chemicals that tell me to eat. And when I've eaten, it sends out chemicals telling me I'm full and I can stop eating. What about memories? Where are they kept? Well, the new memories are kept in the hippocampus, which is right inside here. You can actually see it over here. And the hippocampus is like a temporary drive in the computer. So new memory is kept there. But when we're asleep, the hippocampus backs up new memories so you can remember them years later. So, although the brain is full of fat and water, it's actually one of the most amazing computers on Earth. Not bad for something that looks like a sponge. 